virtual conference rooms allow you to have live synchronous online events or classes. They're a magnificent tool. Hi, my name is Vivian Evans. I live in a solar powered log cabin and I work from my office connecting with people across the state, the nation and worldwide using a virtual conference room. I'm able to work with colleagues, have meetings, teach other people and learn using virtual conference rooms. By putting on our headset and microphones and logging in to the same room at the same time, Dorothy and I are able to talk to each other. We can also surf the net and see a variety of other, do a variety of activities with a host of other participants. There are a variety of conference rooms and I've used mainly uh, Discovery, which is uh, from a company that's based in Western Australia. And the second one is Illuminate. And they both have, and there's a host of others, and uh, they have different features, different costs, and different tools that you can use, and different abilities. So uh, it's worth checking them out. And uh, there, there is something there that can suit your price range, and uh, yeah, and meet your needs. Now, once you're in a virtual conference room, here, here's an image from an illuminate room you can see on the left hand side uh, that people here have actually up the top side of your screen there's letters B C and D and the participants in the room have actually voted in a poll that you can see on the larger screen you can present a PowerPoint presentation and have people actively participate to uh, in the middle left hand side of the screen you have the direct messaging area where individuals who are logged in can actually type text chat and and down the very bottom you can actually uh, choose to speak it's only one person at a time can speak and uh, you can hear people talk to them via chat and you can also interact on the whiteboard now you can have conferences online and here's a sample of one where 65 people engaged in a session. And here's a screen grab of a collaborative whiteboard activity triggered by one question. What can we do to make a difference? There were brilliant results, don't you think, looking at the screen there. Nigel Payne was presenting at 2am in a Glasgow motel. And I was in my log cabin just out of Coonabarabran. What a brilliant world we live in. This is part of a cool results online conference. And what I wanted to show you here is that uh, interactive whiteboards allow lots of people to write on the same screen. And, uh, and you can share and see the results as people add to it. So wonderful for collaborative brainstorms and plenty of other purposes as well. Here's a whiteboard screen with a skeleton on it. And it's fairly obvious how you could use this as a teaching tool where people could uh, write on the whiteboard and uh, so you can have a teacher and students working together to name the, the parts of the bones, the body. And so this could be adapted to all sorts of, of different images and it could be labelled for all sorts of things. So you, you create your screen, uh, you upload it to the actual virtual conference room or the interactive whiteboard and then people can write on that and that's an image that you can, you can clear and use again and again. Virtual conference rooms can also be used to surf the net together. And uh, this is particularly useful, good in uh, discovery where you, the facilitator actually takes everyone who's logged into the room at the time to different websites. So you can explore, share, uh, talk about useful websites, show people how to create things using websites. And here we were looking at a resource called Wikipedia, which is a fabulous tool of a collaborative encyclopedia that's on the internet. So I encourage you to check out virtual conference rooms. They're a wonderful tool, especially if they're facilitated well.